from Kalamazoo, direct to you. It's a WKZO.com quick cast. I'm uh, just really excited for all the new challenges. Uh, you know, we've got another tough schedule this year, and that's exciting. Uh, but with it brings opportunities. So just really looking forward to um, you know opening the season this week. I think guys have been bagging on each other for a while in camp, and we're, we're ready to hit somebody else and uh, kind of get into game mode. So um, it's exciting, and, and we got a great conference schedule, too. It's going to be a tough year, but... Uh, we're excited. I think we got a great group, a lot of talent, and uh, we're just looking forward to getting it and rolling. Can we talk about kind of handling openers and what the key is to it? That isn't something you guys have had tremendous success with in the last few right. years. What, what is kind of the most important thing? Well, we've tried to put a little more emphasis on starting fast. Uh, you know, last year we, we did a great job finishing in the third and fourth quarter. We didn't start as fast in the first and second quarter. Uh, got got outscored fairly badly last year in the first quarter. Um, you know, uh, Ryan Cuban, our quarterbacks coach, did a, did a statistic on that. and. I don't know it exactly, but um, we've got to start faster and get ourselves in a better routine. And um, for us seniors and, and some of the upperclassmen who have played at places like you know Iowa or West Virginia or Nebraska last year, uh, this environment maybe isn't as intimidating for us. But for um, some of the younger guys, it's a little harder. They've probably never played, you know, been playing high school football, and now you play in front of 100,000 people. So um, just got to keep them calm, just weather the storm early on. Um, and that rush of emotion that happens at the beginning of a game, and once we get settled in, we'll be fine. What, what do you say to those young wideouts when they come in that first huddle and there's 100,000 people around? And... You know, I, I think when you step between the white lines, I've played a lot of games, it, it doesn't really matter anymore. You know, the field's still 100 yards, you just got to go out there, and it's, it's really a focus thing. Um, you know, you seeing the looks that you've watched on film, seeing the looks that you've prepared against in practice, and just reacting and just playing football. Um, and, you know, once you catch a ball and, and get that first hit in, then I think you're fine. You're in the game and you're awake and you're ready. So um, just got to get a few plays under their belt and they'll be good. How, speaking of the looks that you're talking about with them having their new defensive coordinator, Coach was talking earlier about how much film you study. How do you prepare or study for a defense that you're really not that familiar with? It's hard because you have to prepare even more. Um, and, you know, we were in the same situation last year when we played Nebraska. You know, Coach Pellini was coming from LSU, um, bringing his defense over. And, you know, we didn't have a bunch of film of Nebraska running his defense. And so um, we're in a similar situation here. And it's good to have that experience last year to, to prepare for this. But um, you prepare for everything and, and literally anything and everything you could see. Um, it makes your preparation harder. But come game time, um, you've seen everything. And, uh, you know, if you get it, then great. You know, we've seen it before and we can react to it. And um, you know, for me, I mean, there will be a look or two that we haven't seen. That's that's reality, and that happens each and every week. And it's how you react to that, and uh, can just get us into a smart play. So, um, you know, we'll be ready for that. Tim, in light of the story that's surfaced in Ann Arbor the last couple of days, can you speak to how much time needs to be put in to be successful at this level, especially as a quarterback? Um, can you give us a snapshot and see how much work you do. Um, you know, it's all about priorities, I think, because there are so many things on your plate between your football requirements, uh, your academic requirements, and then, um, you know, anything else that you may be involved with on campus or, um, in, you know, community service and different things that we do. I think for me, um, I need to watch as much film until I feel comfortable with everything. And some weeks that may be you know, quite a bit more, like this, this week when we have um, a lot of different things to prepare for. But... Um, as far as time, I mean, you know, there's no, I guess, set in stone amount that I watch, but I, you know, probably put in at least an hour and a half a day on my own, um, you know, as well as time in meetings. Um, but it really is, I think the key word is priorities and the key word is balance. You know, you have to uh, somehow find that. Um, and obviously there are restrictions, but if you want to be successful, you should probably go, you know, above and beyond that and, and do some extra film work, especially at the quarterback position. So um, our coaches do a great job of, of finding us that balance. They do. Um, a tremendous job of just, um, you know, giving us the opportunity to get to study table if we need, you know, to work on our academics or get to class. So, um, you know, we feel fortunate Co uh, Coach Cuba does a good job with that. Do you feel that's going to be a, a distraction for them? I think Coach probably said it best. If they win, it wasn't. If they lose, it, it is a distraction. But um... Yeah, I, I've played enough games to know that, you know, again, when you step between the lines, it, it really doesn't matter. And uh, they'll be ready to play. It's their home opener. Um, you know, they'll be excited. Um, they've got some new faces and, and a lot of talent. Um, the, I have no doubt they'll be ready to go. And um, in my mind, it, it won't really matter. Can you talk about the difference between, you know, your fifth year, senior year versus when you were a freshman? What it means to you to have seen so many different types of defenses and been in so many different, the experience level, um, I guess, 
from your freshman year? Uh, confidence comes with experience, and I think um, that is, you know, confidence is the byproduct of playing so many snaps. I think I've um, been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to play and to see a lot of different defenses, a lot of different um, situations as far as managing the game. And um, with that, you know, you, you learn what Coach Cubitt is thinking, what he wants us to get in and run against certain defenses and coverages and blitzes. And um, it's, it's just a habit. It becomes repetition, and, you know, repetition um, eventually leads to mastery. And so, um, obviously, you know, you want to strive for perfection. Clearly not there yet, never will be. But um, the more reps you get, uh, the better and better you get. So um, I you know, feel fortunate to have had as many opportunities to play as I have. You won't have Jamarco or Spider out there this year. We'll talk about, you know, LeBron obviously is back, but talk about Robert and Hansel and this new group of receivers and how they've developed in the last several weeks. Yeah, we'll be just fine, I assure you. Um, these guys can really play. They, they are very, very talented. And um, it's kind of been a, a little bit of a, you know, getting thrown in there, thrown in the fire quickly. But um, the young guys who have come in gave up their whole summer. They were here all summer. Hansel was here in the spring. He enrolled early. And um, these guys have all had the offense installed um, both in the summer before camp and then all through camp. They've seen everything that we do. Um, and then um, they're kind of learning on the fly, but they're doing a great job. And, and we have guys who have certain roles that they play, and we try to not put too much on their plate. We just try to get them in the right spots um, so they can do what, what their best talents are, whether they're a deep guy, whether they're <coughs> excuse me, better at finding holes in the zone, uh, whatever it might be. We just want to put people in positions to utilize their strengths. And, you know, we're doing that. And I think Rob and Juan have done a good job um, just kind of being a security blanket in that they're, you know, showing the younger guys how it should be done and also just mentoring them, you know, getting them lined up right, helping them. Uh, if they do make a mistake, you know, this is what coach is looking for. This is what you can do better. And those guys have kind of emerged as leaders of the wide receiver core. So um, they're doing a good job, and, and these guys can really play. Uh, the future's bright for them, and uh, uh, they're going to have big years this year and in the years to come. So. A tremendous amount of comfort, and, and I think it starts with the offensive line, too. I know Coach mentioned it earlier. Um, those guys are playing really well. They've played together for a long time, and uh, communication is so important on the offensive line, and um, they communicate really well. They work you know, well together, but with that, um, you have backs who understand our run game extremely well, and they also understand pass protection. I think it's uh, an underrated thing for running backs is that um, they're a big part of the you know pass protection schemes, and um, those guys are all stick will stick their noses in there and pick up the blitz, and they do a great job doing that. And um, it's just a tremendous comfort to have three guys back there who can all you know, do it and who have all played a lot. Tim, I, I know that you don't pay much attention to all the hype that's been given to you, all the different lists that you're on, the watch lists, and the, uh, you know, um, the Heisman mention. You've said before that you don't pay that much attention to it. But talk about, you have to have some personal goals. And, some things that you want to accomplish, including positioning yourself for a high draft choice, perhaps. Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, I think when, you know, those things are all fine and good, but, I mean, you just have to stay focused. And, I mean, if that means, um, you know, spending more time in the film room, that's what you need to do. You just got to stay focused on, you know, the game plan and just go play football because those things are all a byproduct of playing well and winning a lot of games. And so if we play the way we're capable, then, you know, if those things come, that's great. But it's about the team first. And I think um, personally, you know, my job is really to just kind of be the distributor to manage the game, uh, get us in good plays, hopefully keep us ahead of the sticks, and um, just get the ball out to our playmakers. You know, they're the really, really the ones who make plays. And, and my job is just to get us in and out of, you know, get us out of bad plays, get us into good plays if we're in a tough situation, um, and just keep moving the sticks, keep moving the ball. And I think, um, I feel comfortable enough with all our guys that I know what their strengths and weaknesses are, and I'm not going to put them in a position, you know, at the line of scrimmage to um, do something that they're not comfortable doing. So um, we're going to, you know, use our offensive line and use them well. Um, they're great players. They're a strength of our offense. And so, um, you know, for me, it's just really about winning as many games and just really taking care of the football and getting us into good plays. And, you know, out of that, um, if you do that, you'll have a good completion percentage. You'll have a good touchdown interception ratio. So I don't focus so much on numbers. I just focus on getting us in and out of good plays and making smart decisions with the ball. And then that stuff will come. Tim, can we get your take on this, the three quarterback thing that Rich is going to be running? Um, I mean, I've, I've heard about it. I think, you know, he's just trying to figure out who his guy is. And 
Um, I don't know if he'll do it or not, but I know our defense is ready for it. And so um, those guys have been preparing hard all week, and, and we'll see what happens.